So, in chapter 2, we already discussed the tabular and graphical presentations used to summarize data. In this chapter, we present several numerical measures that provide additional alternatives for summarizing data. So, we start by developing numerical summary measures for data sets consisting of a single variable. So, when a data set contains more than one variable, the same numerical measures can be computed separately for each variable. However, in the two variable case, we will excuse me, we will also develop measures for the relationships between the variables. So in part A, we'll be talking about the measures of location and the measures of variability. So, a while ago, I mentioned numerical measures. So, numerical measures of location, dispersion, shape, and associations are introduced in this chapter. So, if the measures are computed for data from a sample, they are called sample statistics. If the measures are computed for data from a population, they are called population parameters. So, in statistical inference, a, statist a sample statistic is referred to as the point estimator of the corresponding population parameter. So, that's it. Now, to start, we will start with the measures of location. So, there are seven, the mean, median mode, weighted mean, geometric mean, percentiles, and quartiles. The first three, I believe you're already familiar with because you may have encountered that in your senior high years. Mean, median, mode. Those are the most common. The other four, you may or may have encountered it. Or, nalimtan. So, this, um, the measures of location are just um, refresh a review of your senior high knowledge. So, we will start with the mean so the mean is perhaps the most important measure of location it provides a measure of central location and the mean of a data set is the average of all data values so the sample mean denoted by this symbol x nanay bar or x bar is the point estimator of the population mean which is characterized or symbolized by this fancy letter U. So, how do you compute for the mean? It's very easy. As, I, as mentioned here, your mean is the average of all your data values. So, your mean is simply the sum of your x values or the sum of the values of the n observations denoted by the symbol sigma. So, the sum of your x, then i, or your n values, how many, it depends on how many values you have, over your total number of observations in the samples, or total number of data, or variables, elements, ana. <clears throat> so, that is how you compute your sample mean. <clears throat> Population mean, the only difference is the denominator. So, if you observe, wait, let me position it well. There. So, you can see their difference is the denominator. For the population mean, the denominator is already a capital N or uppercase N, which means it already involves the number of observations in the population. So, that is the, or that is how you compute for the sample mean and the population mean so we have right here a sample so you can see it here at the left uh, right side the uh, monthly starting salary now <clears throat> if you will compute for the mean it's already shown in here it me um it says or let's work with the this is this is a sample so sample mean your sample mean is it says there the sum 
of the values for your observation. So you have, here you have 12 observations or 12, 12 data, one data set. So you have 12 observations. Now the sum of their values. So the value for one is 3850 and so on and so forth. So if you are looking for the sum, you can use a calculator, just simply add everything and then divide it by 12. Or if we work with Excel, it's simply using the sum function. So sum to get the total, then select the uh, specific data needed, divided by your total, which is how much? 12. So you arrive at the same sample mean of 3940. Now, since mean is also the average, so this was making use of the sum function. Now, if we make use of the average function, since, oops, if we make use of the average function, just equals and then average, and then select your the values that you would like to find the average, and still it would result to three nine. 40. So you can use either the sum and then divide or simply just use the sum or no, the average function. So this is still a sample mean. So that's how you get your sample mean. <clears throat> if, it not, if it is not stated in the problem, <coughs> excuse me, that it is not a population so your default would be a sample mean again if it's if it is not stated that it is a population or your data set is already a population or if it is not stated here that 12 is a population so we will use sample mean so that's how you get sample mean <clears throat>